Hi, welcome to The Alexa Show, a new web series about cooking with tea only on The Daily Tea. Today, we're making a green mint tea gazpacho. It's creamy, it's cooling, and perfect for summer. Tea is used in two ways in the recipe, one in a tea-infused oil and the other as a tea concentrate. So let's get started by making a tea-infused oil. First, we're going to add a quarter cup of grapeseed oil to a pot on the stove. We're using grapeseed oil because it's mild and won't overpower the taste of green tea like an olive oil or coconut would. Turn the stove on low and you want to heat the oil to 140 degrees. I'm using a candy thermometer. This is the perfect tool for cooking with tea, so you make sure you get the right temperature. Also, it's great for just steeping a cup when you also need that perfect water temperature. So now, just heat it until it reaches 140 degrees. Now that it's reached 140 degrees, remove the thermometer, turn off the burner, and then we're gonna add 1.5 tablespoons of the green mint tea. It's a Chinese gunpowder green tea that's been blended with mint. So we're just going to add that to the oil and then stir for three minutes. Okay, now we're done stirring. So just move the pan off the burner and let's get started. So while the tea infused oil cools, let's talk about the rest of the ingredients in the gazpacho. I went ahead and made a green mint tea concentrate. So I brought two cups of water to a boil and then cooled it to 175 degrees, the perfect temperature for the green mint tea. Then I steeped 3.5 tablespoons of the green mint tea for three minutes. Then I strained the leaves. Now we want to let the tea cool just like we're letting the oil cool. The reason is, is because we're making a cold soup, so we don't want anything hot. So let's look at the rest of the ingredients. We have one cup of green grapes that are gonna add a sweetness, and you can keep them whole because we're blending it. Then, I took one cucumber, I peeled it, de-seeded it, and roughly chopped it, and that's just gonna add a cool flavor to the gazpacho. Then, we have one cup of mint that's going to bring that natural, refreshing sweetness and complement the green tea. We also have three stalks of celery that I roughly chopped, one avocado that's just gonna make it nice and creamy and rich, two garlic cloves that have been peeled, then five spring green onions that I've roughly chopped, and both of those are gonna add savory notes to the gazpacho. Then we have four tablespoons of lime juice that's just gonna brighten it up and bring that acidity that's going to balance everything, and then salt and pepper to taste. And now we're ready to add everything to the blender to make your green mint tea gazpacho. Just be sure to reserve one cup of the green mint tea concentrate because we're gonna stir that in after we've blended everything. We just finished blending our green mint tea gazpacho, and now it's time to add the last cup of the green mint concentrated tea. The reason I wait to add it to the end is when you blend the ingredients, sometimes they tend to be a little bit frothy, and by adding in that green mint concentrated tea, you're just making it the perfect consistency. So now, we just need to pop it in the fridge for an hour to allow it to fully chill and have the flavors mingle and meld. When ready to serve, take the green mint tea gazpacho from the fridge and pour it into a serving bowl. I like to garnish it with grapes, cucumbers, and mint. So take one cucumber that's peeled and de-seeded and roughly chop it and add it right in. Then add one cup of green grapes that have been halved and top with mint. Serve it to guests in a teacup for an added touch. Get the full recipe for the green mint tea gazpacho right here on The Daily Tea. And check back soon for more tea-infused episodes on The Alexa Show. If you enjoyed this episode, download the recipe for free on The Daily Tea.